people have not heard this message from me. Don't identify with anything. Don't identify with your body. Don't identify with gender. Don't identify with any religion. Don't identify with any name. Deeply, you know? Superficially, yes, it's okay. Superficially, it's okay. But deeply, don't combine yourself with anything at all. You see? You might be working as a doctor, but don't think in your heart that you're a doctor. When you get rid of all the all these associations, all these ideas, all these identities, then strangely, amazingly, something fresh arises from inside that has been awaiting discovery for a very long time. Mm. The human being has to become completely naked, empty of every concept. We imagine that this is hard, but it actually is very easy. And it's something that we need to try, because if you've not tried it before, you have not really lived until you're empty. Empty. Everyone should taste what it is before we picked up identity. Once we became clothed with this phenomenal identity, we came into a kind of trap. Because it's as though we exchanged our universality for a state of conditioning and identity. What I'm telling you is the most the most generous, the most loving, the most liberating thing. But there is some persistence in us, an attitude, a habit to identify as something. And we feel naked without it. Well, the wrong kind of naked. We feel like, oh, without, without being somebody, I'm nobody. I'm which is true, but we take that like that is something bad. When you're nobody, you're not a member of any cult, the nobody cult. There's no such thing at all. But you should at least taste it. Don't identify with being anybody, with somebody, or even with nobody. And instantly, it shouldn't take long, instantly you will feel the space of your being. Instantly. Not even medicine work as quick as that. Not even medicine work as quick as that. Instantly you drop your notions about personhood, who you are, who you want to be, and immediately you are free. So that would be my Christmas message I would send to you. Anywhere in the world, it can go to any human beings. It is compatible with any any culture. It is compatible. This message is compatible with any state of mind, any culture. Somebody from these places will hear what I'm speaking and will apply it. It's not a Christian message, it's not a Muslim message, it's not a Buddhist message. It's universal, a universal invitation that will reveal something in you that I would say it is a great sadness to miss this opportunity, to deny yourself, deny yourself, deny your ego self and discover the self you could never not be. And then move in life. You'll move like the wind. The wind has no name. When the, when the wind moves, it's not called Wednesday's wind. It's not called Antarctic wind. The mind gives it that name, but the wind has no name. You'll move like that. You'll live like that. The air has no name. The water has no name. We call it water, but water doesn't call itself water. Anybody will taste that. Don't worry, it's not that somehow you won't not be able to talk. You will talk. You'll still be able to relate to other beings and so on at a superficial level, which is fine. Because your body will not be dead. So the bodily existence, it will continue. But for the first time, something will pull you to the in the inmost room, the roomless room. 
and then you will know automatically what I've been talking about all these years. The one who has never been born, who never grows old, who never grows tired, who never hates. This one you will know. And this thing, I say Christmas message, why? Because on Christmas Day you can get it. I'm not giving you a, a Christmas message that you'll get on New Year's Day. I give you this message like you'll give you a, a present for Christmas, you'll open it on Christmas Day. I will give you this present on Christmas Day and you can know it on Christmas Day. You don't have to wait for Boxing Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, next year. So what a beautiful present. It doesn't come in any wrapping paper. This would be my, my gift to all whoever will receive it.